Here's a short introduction to the micro bump technology. Micro bump is basically a high level connectivity that connects two different chips. The first chip would connect to the micro bump in certain orientation, and the second chip also would connect to the same micro bump in a different orientation. How does Qantas handle the micro bump for extraction? To extract 3D IC designs with micro bumps, you need to define the process info using a file that goes by the name IPF file. IPF stands for inter-process file. One IPF file is enough for all the vertically connected chips. IPF is a separate file that uses the extension of the ICT syntax to define the micro bump process information. In the IPF file, you can model the micro bumps and its background dielectric layers. To do this, a new section which goes by the name inter-process is added to the ICT file. Coming to the extraction part, for Qantas, there are two different technology directories with the same IPF file inside each technology directory. Hence, there are going to be two independent Qantas jobs as well. The top-level connectivity with two chips should be provided by the PVSLVS flow. Here is a block diagram wherein we have different micro bumps used in the interposer technology. They are the front micro bump and the back micro bump respectively. The back micro bump is connecting the package to the backside metal, whereas the front micro bump is connecting the interposer to tier 1 chip and tier 2 chip. Coming to the extraction output, the micro bumps will be reported variedly for different output formats. For example, micro bumps will be reported as generic devices in the LVS flow. Whereas, it will be reported as drawn resistance devices in the SPICE extraction output and as vias in the SPEF output. Taking a closer look at the Qantas 3D IC extraction for designs with micro bumps, the summary is that we need to create an ICT file with a separate IPF section that carries the details of the micro bump. Then use this ICT file as an input during the tech gen to generate QRC tech file. Then use that QRC tech file to run the extraction. Over here, you need to define the process info using the inter-process file as a separate section in the ICT file. Here's a sample ICT file with separate IPF section, which comes under the heading inter underscore process, wherein you define the details of micro bumps like height, thickness, dielectric constant, etc. Micro bump in the background dielectric layers can be defined in a single IPF file. Micro bumps can be modeled in two different modes as regular RCs or the pre characterized sub scikit models. Once the IPF file is created, how do you incorporate that into the QRC tech file creation? To extract the RC for micro bump, you need to build this inter process models into the QRC tech file. How do you do that? You need to input the IPF file during the tech gen compilation step using this command that reads tech gen compilation followed by the IPF followed by the IPF file name. You need to meet certain conditions as well. The unified QRC tech file must exist in the current directory while compiling the IPF file. This process works only with a QRC tech file, which is created using the tech gen simulation step. The IPF compilation also needs to be done for each technology used in different chips. Over here on the right hand side, we have a picture that depicts the different applications of micro bumps and TSV. TSV, or through silicon via, as the name indicates, it cuts through the CPU logic to form connections from top level to the board, and the micro bump helps connect the memory blocks onto the CPU logic.